G'day Seven Tuners, Adam Zillin here and uh, today we're at BR again dropping in to see my son and this his uh, newest creation um, appearances can be deceptive uh, this is not an R35 you can probably tell so by the roof line it's actually a 180SX it's three years in the making now and he's just finished it uh, for the new Drift Muscle series uh, this year and uh, just take you for a quick walk around and show you what he's put into the car. Uh, last time I was here, I shot the BRZ. Um, there's a lot of uh, discussion on the net about this particular car. It's not a Toyota, it's not a Scion, it's a BRZ. Um, just, I'm not sure if you can see that. It's very hard to distinguish, but um, just want to put that argument to rest. It's not a Scion. That's yeah, BRZ. Anyway, back to the 180. Um, there's a lot to go through with this particular machine. Um, all the, basically all the exterior panels, except for the roof and uh, some parts of the doors that you can possibly see, are all from an R35. Um, 07, I believe it is, or 08. Um, headlights, front bumper, bonnet. Uh, the front over the front uh, quarter panels, side skirts, the doors as well. Uh, you can probably see the line where the R35 stops and the rest of the 180 door begins. That's all been custom uh, fabricated. Rear panels as well, rear quarter panels. Um, you see that's where the original uh, 180 line is, and then a little hinge here. And then that stops at the back. Down about here, and it continues on down. This is a Perspex fiberglass hatch where the R35 boot lid has been molded to it. Um, crazy looking machine, and uh, just take you for a quick look inside the car. Um, a lot of people don't like this aspect of the car, but I think it's pretty cool. These are actually Lamborghini style scissor doors. I'll just go up there, we'll lift that up. There we go. There we go. So there is a nice little feature there. A lot of people don't like scissor doors, but I think this really suits the car. Um, as I said, my son spent three years putting this together, on and off, throughout uh, with his other jobs. Um, what else can I show you? Probably going to want to see what's under the engine, under the bonnet. I'll just swing this one up as well. Go. Okay, so that's the door arrangement there. Crazy looking machine. Um, inside, it's been stripped with a NASCAR style, at least I think it looks like a NASCAR style dash assembly with custom um, dash panels and defi mounted, uh, mounted defi gauges there. Monitoring all the lifeblood and uh, gases and fuel mixtures and water temps and everything else. Um, the cage is very, very comprehensive. If you look into the back, um, multi-point cage giving the chassis extra strength. Um, just pop the latches on this, show you what's in the, the boot. Just pop the rear hatch there. So there we've got uh, an inside view of the of the cage. It's a lot lighter than standard, obviously, with no sound deadening, no carpets, nothing. It's been completely gutted, um, and the chassis's been spot and seam welded. A lot of work has gone into this car um, to fit the uh, the panels to a 180 chassis. Um, Would have taken an extremely long amount of time. So it's hard to kind of gauge exactly how much work has gone into it, but wow, impressive stuff. Um, I would show you the engine just at the minute, but it's a bit difficult to get the bonnet open. Uh, it's a 180 seat there that gives it away basically. Pretty much the only hint on the car, apart from the, um, the roof lining as I said in the B pillar. Um, Another Lomax bucket over there for the driver, for my son. 
and the uh, car's running on um, forged Enkies, front and rear. Standard, I think they're pretty much standard. Uh, I think they look like GTR brakes, I'm not sure. Uh, calipers on the front. Um, running, obviously, Goodyear Eagles. I think it's one of his sponsors. But uh, what a great looking car. The panels fit really well. I'm surprised at the quality. Well, no, I'm not surprised actually, to be honest with you. But um, the panels seem to fit extremely well. Um, and it's just another example of you, my uh, putting a car together that fools you, first impressions. Uh, you don't know what you're looking at. And then you take a closer look and you realize that's a 180SX. Oh, God, okay. What else have we got here? Um, yeah. So I would show you the engine. I will in a minute, actually. But uh, anyway, that's the quick walk around. And uh, Adrian Ben is sitting over there. AP, APV photography. And uh, beautiful day outside. We'll get the car outside in a minute. But uh, chock full of wind. A couple of interesting cars. There's Tezuka's new uh, D1 machine for this year. Uh, 2JZ. I'm not sure about a thousand horsepower, but yeah, pretty serious machine. He's not driving the 30, 32, 34 this year, taking up, taking up a new car. Um, anyway, I'll be back in just a second to show you what's under the bonnet because it's really interesting. So this is what the arrangement for the bonnet looks like. Um, quite a unique arrangement. Nissan's gone for a double hinged um, setup, which is quite well, it looks fragile, but it, it does the job. The bonnet opens up completely um, vertical in a straight line, which is really neat. And instead of a SR20, he's put a 2JZ in here, which seems to fit quite nicely. It looks like he's chopped away at the firewall a little bit to get the um, engine to fit properly. There's a Garrett um, turbo there with an HKS fuel rail. Um, it's like a, a bigger intake plenum as well. Uh, engine's making 500 horsepower. Uh, it's mated to a um, the 2JZ, the Getrag 6 speed. In my son was telling me that 500 horsepower is about the limit for the gearbox, so that's why it's running 500, just to ensure its reliability. Um, really neat looking engine. So you've got a R35 bodywork package on, an, on a 180SX with a 2JZ in it. So <laughs> that's classic in my son. <laughs> I'm not surprised. I am surprised, but I'm not surprised. That's just the way he does things. Really, really good looking car. Amazing creation. Um, was just. It's ni what chatta desu ka? It's ni. It's ni. Ano. Kunuma ga what chatta desu ka? Kotoshi. Finish. Alright. De kotoshi nan gatsu desu ka? Ichi gatsu. Okay. So January this year was completed after three years of work. So there you go. And. Uh, He's out of the Drift Muscle Championship two weeks ago. How was it? Actually, uh, <laughs> a little bit of an accident here. <laughs> not so, not too bad. Oh, it's okay. Yeah, <laughs> So it wasn't a big accident, just a little bit. A little bit of a scrape. But uh, one off creation, you'll never see another one like it. Brilliant machine. Um, as I mentioned before, these are our RS05 RR Enkis in 18 inches front and rear. Uh, spacers are running at the back to give it a little bit more of a, um, bring it out towards the guards a little bit more. But um, I'd hate to think about how much money has gone into this to get it to this point. It's crazy. Brilliant little machine and uh, I bet it goes like a bat out of hell, that's for sure. Imai san, arigatou gozaimashita. Thank you. Okay, that's Adam Zillan from Seven Shoom with APV Photography, Adrian Venner, and at BR. And we'll be back with more shortly. Cheers. Thanks a lot.